The future of digital financial institutions remain a major concern of sector players. Given the above 4 billion shillings lost in digital fraud, different financial institutions, industry captains in the financial industry, and ministers of ICT have now embarked on finding solutions to the problem. For we should embrace technology because it makes life better. However, the technology has the downside, like the cyber fraud, cyber insecurity created, some people want to use the digital space uh, to commit a crime. The central bank has now called for licensing of mobile money agents by respective telecommunication companies, adding that this will help in tackling fraud. Of the high cost of the internet, the government says it's extending optic fiber to over 60 districts across the country. The smartphone has come down, but I think more has to be done to bring the cost down further and also to reduce the cost of internet. According to the quarterly financial stability review released by the central bank in 2023, the largest share of digital payments was recorded for their end in 2023 at a growth rate of 22%, with the number of digital payment transactions increasing from 2.7 million in 2022 to 3.3 million in 2023. Last year, banks invested over 300 billion shillings in IT to try and curb the rising financial fraud.